So on the Croft I have some Hebridean sheep and the Hebridean sheep obviously being native but also uh, low intensive and have a, a lower need for feed in the winter that's imported and they I, I try and sell the meat for them locally to provide food locally. Also two years ago I, I introduced cattle to the Croft for the first time in 50 years. Uh, in that 50 years it had been only sheep and so the cattle I saw as a way of improving the grazing and uh, the, the biodiversity of what grows on the, on, the, on the ground and that they are complementary when they are alternated with, with the sheep. It's a long process but I'm, I'm beginning to see some improvement already with the cattle being on the croft. I think crofting is really important for a number of reasons. One of them being, and especially important for the future, is its, uh, its low intensivity and also its high nature value form of agriculture. It's low in its level of extraction and intensiveness with, with the soil and with the ground, and that's really important going forward. It's good for, for culture, it has a, a big role and a strong role in, in Gaelic culture and here in, in the Western Isles, uh, crofting is a huge part of, of the community. <laughs> uh, crofting is also a great way that people are able to combine management of the land, uh, stewarding of the land with, with other jobs as well. It often goes hand in hand with other jobs and uh, people want to have a, a closer way to their food, uh, food production and self-sufficiency and crofting is a good way of doing that. An issue that I think has been the case over the last few years in the funding for crofting is the way that it has favoured larger and bigger kind of land parcels and especially in crofting areas uh, poorer land that, that I'm working with here, for instance, uh, has been at the bottom of the, the funding, which has, I think, led really to so many crofts in this area and in much of the Western Isles being underused and therefore um, the land has become degraded and, uh, and not used for much food uh, production. So something that I would see being an improvement for the funding for crofting would be that some of the poorer land does get better funding. Um, we want this land to contribute to nature, biodiversity and in a sustainable way, in an ecological way, to food production as well. Land like this is, is both high in, in carbon value and in uh, biodiversity providing it is is managed with with livestock and people and communities as well and the new funding could do much to improve that so uh, there's a few things that i think we need to think about for the future funding systems that support crofting and croft airs i think we need to be trying to encourage more folk to produce food locally that we've got local systems and that we are supporting the kind of practices that are suitable for the land and the area but and the, and the climate but also provide us with, with food, the shorter food miles, that is then sustainably and ecologically produced. I think whatever we do, the way that we manage our land needs to be thought about carefully, any kind of management. And in, in some crofting areas there's been, there's been far too much neglect and so I think that needs to be tackled so that there is sensible management there. In other areas there has been over intensive practices too and they need to be um, supported in a way that they transition to, to something that is, is also uh, much more sustainable and ecological. Crofting is, is great on, on both sides because so much of the traditional practices that are a part of crofting's history and part of crofting's past are, are great ecological and sustainable practices 
and, and so crofting has a lot to offer and so I hope that future funding and practices that are encouraged uh, think more about the traditional crofting practices and the way that they can come back in in future so that we do support ourselves, support our communities, support food production for ourselves but also in a way that is very much sensitive uh, to the biodiversity of, of birds, of animals, uh, of fauna and of, of the species that are on the ground together.